What's up today, my wonderful family? Thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Devotions with Demarcus. Let's get right into the word today. Today we are in Revelation chapter 21, verses 3 through 4, and it reads, I heard a loud shout from the throne saying, Look, God's home is now among his people. He will live with them and they will be his people. God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Y'all, what I want you to understand today is that God loves you, right? God sees your tears. He knows that pain. Listen, he knows what you've been dealing with, right? Understand God knows exactly what it is that you're dealing with. But I want you to understand something, that every tear that you've ever cried is for the garden of your victory. All right, I'm going to say it again. Every tear that you've ever cried, even, even when you were going through situations and you didn't shed a tear, right? Because some of us, we don't just pour down tears, right? We just keep it all right here. Every one of those situations that have been rough for you, right? Every tear. Every stress, struggle, and strain, every tear that you've ever cried is for the garden of your victory, right? And understand that God loves you. He sees all. He knows all. But there will be a day. There will be a day. No more loss. No more pain. There will be a day when you are with your loving, caring, sharing Heavenly Father. The Bible also tells us that uh, uh, in this world, you will face tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have already overcame the world. So understand that Christ has already overcame that, right? In this world, you will face tribulation, right? But be of good cheer, like rejoice about it. He's already defeated it, right? He's already overcame the world. So I want you to rest in the fact that God loves you. Rest in the fact that God knows your situation. Rest in the fact that God is literally hovering over you with both of his arms, right? Because he loves you so much. Know that you are covered by him. Know that you are loved by him, all right? And understand that God wants you to literally lean back in your chair today. Well, you ain't got to fold your arms like this, though. That's just what I do, right? But God wants you to lean back today and relax and know that everything's going to be all right. See, he's already overcame the world. You see, let me tell you what the devil is like. The devil is like a bee, right, that tries to buzz in your ear. But understand, he's see, Jesus took the sting out of death. Jesus already defeated the enemy, right? So that bumblebee doesn't have a stinger anymore. So all that bumblebee can do is try to intimidate you and buzz in your ear, but it has no stinger. In other words, it's about to die. Its time is limited. But don't be fooled by the bumblebee. It buzz, it got you scared. You oh Ain't no need to be scared. It ain't got no stinger. Jesus took the sting out of death. Jesus already defeated the enemy. All right? He already defeated the enemy, man. So you need to put a smile on your face. Look, show all your teeth. Hey, even if you only got two teeth, like my daughter, show all them teeth, man. All right? Put a big old smile on your face. Why is that? Because, see, we... We don't want the battle. See, we don't fight the fight for the position of victory. No, that's not how we do as children of God. We fight the fight from the position of victory. See, it's a different view when you're fighting a fight from the position of victory. You're looking down on it like, oh, I, ain't, I ain't tripping on that. That's already taken care of. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for giving us another wonderful day. We love you so much. We thank you, Father God, that every tear that they've ever cried is for the garden of their victory. We thank you, Lord, that you have already given us the victory. Your word says we're more than a conqueror. Your word says in Revelation 21, Lord, that you will wipe every tear from my eye and there'll be no more death or sorrow or pain. We know there is a time there will be absolutely no more pain. I pray over everyone on the sound of my voice, Lord, every pain they're dealing with, everything that they're facing, that you will give them, give them the peace. Your word says you give us the peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, I pray that over them right now, and we just thank you for their life. Lord, we just ask you to continue to use them in a mighty way. Lord, any type of confusion that's going on in their mind, Lord, I pray your peace over their mind and help them to understand that you have them covered and they already have the victory through you. 
Because peace is not something, it's someone. Peace is you. And we love you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, love you all so much. If you made it to the end of the video, drop a check mark down below. That's right. Check in. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon on side of the video so you'll be notified as soon as every single video drops. New video every single day. 6 o'clock a.m. Central Time. Love you so much and I'll see you tomorrow morning.